once we was done with that tour, we we just decided to stay out in California and f with uh Bones and L and Alien and shit. so like and uh, then the other folks they went and back in today see their hometown and did whatever they did. And so that's how Sips Hollow Water Boys formed because uh we were just like, all right, we gon' it's it's us, so we just gonna stick around, we just gonna stick around, stay here, make music, and book the shows. Elliot was booking the shows and shit, and we and we was just gonna go from there and we was going up. And so like at that time, like rap, like you said, was changing. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like the SoundCloud era, the the um just making music in a in a bedroom and shit like that. Like all like we was the the start of that shit, you feel me? So that's really like that's really like how the, all that shit begun. But when the tension started flaring up is like on down the line, you know what I'm saying? So we gonna we gonna get to that though. Like mm -hmm. we gonna get to that for sure. Right. So yeah, I mean like yeah, what happened in between? Like like when do you feel like it was at its height? What, 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 uh, like such all the water boys in general, like 2017. I, I, I would say, bro, 2016, probably mm -hmm. 2016, 2015. Then when shit started going left, was probably end of 2017, 2018. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you're like, yeah, motherfuckers don't know that, but like, yeah, when shit started going left, like, yeah, 2017, 2018. All right, so break that down for me. How'd that start happening? So that started happening because me and, um, I was going back and forth. I was going back and forth from Memphis to Cali, you know what I'm saying? And so I we I we was making money and shit. So I I ended up giving me a crib. Everybody, you know like how it be like when niggas start getting their own spots, when niggas, you know what I'm saying? Everybody start doing their own shit. Right so after it, I saw it happen with you guys, I saw it happen with Shoreline. Yeah, where they the, was all it's, it's, super yeah, tight homies. It's the same shit. They bro. get signed, yeah. they start getting money, yeah, yeah, they get move, money, they get their own spots, they get yeah, their own girls, girls, and yeah. then you're just touring together. Yeah, and all just, of a sudden you it, ain't spending just, time like that. Yeah, you, know? you ain't you ain't buying this shit like yeah. that. So like we everybody just what uh going their own path. So you feel me? That's what like that's what really happened. And we moved out. Niggas was making money. We moved out. I'm I done I done I done stayed all around LA and shit. So like once I moved out, bro, I was just I was working. Like I was working. The bones, uh everybody was just working. And like I stayed downtown and shit. And so I would just be making my mixtapes and all that shit in, in my crib, like, and just dropping them. And just dropping them on SoundCloud. And like, uh, you were always kind of in your own world. I, I, I always <laughs> been in my own world, bro. I ain't even gonna lie to you. I always been in my own world. We probably would have had an interview in 2016 if you weren't in bro, such your own world, <laughs> bro. Nah, this shit long overdue. This yeah. shit long overdue. But I'm gonna tell you though, like, like I'm only like I just wait for the right time. I yeah. ain't really do like I. It's been plenty of motherfuckers that hit me up to do interviews and shit, mm. but I ain't never. I just ain't never get around it. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just wanted to wait for the right time. And this is the right time. It's perfect. Fire. Perfect time. We should have been had an interview, bro. It's kind of like, perfect, though. That's yeah. what I'm saying. We should have been had. We long overdue for an interview, But would bro. you say you're a loner? Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm definitely a loner. I ain't even going to lie. I'm definitely. I was never. Like, even when when we go back to the Raider Clan shit, bro, I was always just in my own. I was just on, like on like some loner shit. I wasn't, I wasn't on no loner, loner shit. But I was just, I, I always wanted to stay in my lane. This mm. is period. I just wanted to stay in my lane. Because I ain't never want to, like, just fucking, because that's how shit, you know what I'm saying? That's how niggas clash and shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, just, you know, just motherfuckers, like, if they don't stay, like, I feel like how I do it, if I don't stay in my own lane, I ain't going to like the turnout, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to like, you know what I'm saying? I ain't going to like the turnout. So I just felt like I always needed to stay in my own lane. I need to have my own sound. I need to have my own everything, you know what I'm saying? Like, I always been like this since a kid, so like, okay. that's why, like, you know what I'm saying? And when when I went solo, that's when like the tension. That's when my, you know, you know, nigga, of course, motherfuckers gonna get mad, you know what I'm saying? But like, I wouldn't, I I, I don't give a, I don't give a fuck about what nobody say or what about what nobody talk about. I always just do my own thing. But when you say went solo, did you ever have that conversation with them? Like, I'm not really trying to do this shit as a group so much. Yeah, I ain't, I, I, bro, I ain't, I'm gonna tell you, like, I ain't even, they, I, they noticed it, like, they noticed because I started distancing myself, like, mm -hmm. I just started distancing myself, like, and like you said, like, niggas was, uh, but when it was time to, like, I still do shows and shit with them, like, I still do shows, but you can just feel, like, like, motherfuckers, are, even the fans, they was knowing, like, oh, Chris, he be on his own shit, like, he just be, you know what I'm saying, he be on his own shit, but I was, you know, I still do shows. 
do all that shit. And but that's the thing though, when we all came to get we was all on our own shit. I feel like Sess Hall of Water Boys was just a good collective of all our shit coming together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Like of all our stuff coming together. Cause Bones, he he been had they had been had Sesh. Wolf Ben had Hollow Squad, Eddie Ben had, you know, Healthy Boys and all that shit. But so then you say that you want to kind of just do your own thing, and how do they react? I mean, they ain't, like, they 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 probably felt, I know they felt some type of way, like, but see, the thing is, motherfuckers don't communicate, you know what I'm saying? Like, we ain't never, like, communicate, but, like, we ain't never just, like, I just came out one day, and I was just, like, they already felt the tension. But I was like, I, I need to go public with this shit. So I had just tweeted. I was like, I'm I'm no longer Sess Hollow Water Boys. I'm like, you know what I'm saying? Everybody doing their own thing. But I, I'm walking my own path. That shit went crazy. And then and the fans was mad. The fans was mad. But some fans was just like, for the real fans was like, oh, bro, I'm glad. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing your shit. You know what I'm saying? Just keep doing your thing. But did you really not have any... Like drama with any of them at that point, or was any what what led nah, up to it that? No, it wasn't no real drama with them at that point. They respected, they respected the, my decision. They respected it, like they respected it. You know what I'm saying? So like they they you know and they respected it, and I respected them. But it's just like bro, like bro, we got like we gotta be real. My, I was always in in the shows. Every Seth Hollow Water Boys shows, bro. I'm I'm in in the show, like. I'm the we like I'm like I I be turning up you know what I'm saying I be turning up like a motherfucker like I ain't even gonna cap like I just I was just turning up like I ain't gonna say I, I turned up the most but bro I was turning up and the fans know they knew what's up like the uh -huh. fans knew what's up for sure. All right, people, we just hit 300,000 subscribers. You know we're trying to hit 400,000 subscribers. So that little red button, tap it, tap in. Appreciate y'all.